Today we are going head to head with a real versus fake bait challenge. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's big. Please don't pop off. One of us will be using real corn, real worms, and real fish, while the other uses an artificial version of the same thing. We'll have one hour to fish each bait, and we'll be scored on three different categories. The most fish caught, the most species caught, and the biggest fish caught. Whoever has the most top performing baits at the end will be crowned the winner. Without further ado, let's get to it. So to start this off, we need to decide who is going to be team real and who is going to be team fake. And I don't think there's any better way to do that then a good old fashioned game of rock, paper, scissors, shoot, winner gets to pick. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. So I get to pick and I already know I'm going with team real. All right, good luck and may the best woman win. Let's get it. Maddie gotta put her fake corn on her hook. I think this looks like real corn. I don't know, I feel like they won't know the difference. They're gonna know the difference because I'm about to hit them with a real deal right here. We're gonna put some real corn on this here hook. There's our corn. We're gonna cast this out and then we're gonna rig up another pole with this just a single piece of corn because this is about biggest fish, most fish, and most species. Oh, is it good? Because I can't see nothing. I didn't cast it right into a tree, but it went through the tree, so we're good. We're just gonna let it sit right here and hopefully we get a big old hunger fish. Fake corn is out. We'll put that in there and now we wait. I'm gonna go ahead and put my corn on here. What y'all think? Will it get it done? Oh, got a bite, got a bite. Be quiet, you did not. Yes, I did. On the fake corn, I feel pretty good about our big pole just being left to do what big poles do and that is sit. Now we're gonna take this little guy right here. I got a single piece of corn on. We're gonna see if we can find any little fish. Or big, hey, I'll take a big fish on the little pole. I don't know how it'll handle, but we'll put her to the test. All right. Oh, and we got an hour on the clock, right? Oh yeah. We forgot to put our hour on the clock, but we just got started. So hour on the clock right now. Let's go. You having technical difficulties over there? Yeah. That's corny. <laughs> I had to say it. Oh, oh, that was such a good bite. How did I not get that fish? Come on. Ah, oh, he stole my corn. I don't think you're gonna have that problem with the fake corn as much as I am about to have that problem. No, I don't I don't think so. It seems pretty durable. I'm gonna lose lots of kernels to these fish, I'm telling you. Come on. Have the juice. We have the juice. Couldn't, oh! <laughs> that counts. Yes, the fishing gods are working in my favor, I think. Please let me win. She's over there laughing. I'm getting another bite. Oh, shoot. He took that thing under. They like it. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're going to get this fish that stole our corn. Come on up, Bubba. I think they're deeper. Yeah, that counts. That doesn't count. It landed right there on the bank. That counts. Girl, hush your mouth, I got a bite. All right, if it landed on the bank, we'll count it. I think it's controversial, but we'll count it because I'm feeling generous and confident. What was it? A bluegill. All right, we'll count it. Got bit so good by this one fish. He's taunting me, I swear. They're so deep, I think I'm gonna take my bobber off here. And what I'll do is I'll just control how deep the line goes. Oh, that's a nice one. Heck yeah, what you got, what we got? Green sunfish. You caught another? Yeah. No, we ain't gonna have this now. Oh shoot. Did he fall off? No, he was in my hands, but he did release himself. I seen it, I seen it, you caught another fish. That's okay though. We're gonna get right over here. And I'm telling y'all, she just found a hole. That's all it is. They don't even care about her corn. We're gonna find us a better hole. Maybe. Ooh, I had another one. <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, he had it. He's hooking so quick. See if he does that again. Y'all, my bobber like went so far under. So you've caught two species and two fish. 
I've got nothing. Boo. Let's go stand and fish next to Ray. See what they really want. We gotta go further into the jungle. Cause uh, this, this is just, uh, we can't let Maddie be up after we fish. All right, here we go. This is a good spot. I have a feeling about this spot. Come on, this is such a good spot for a fish to be at. Where are y'all? Oh. Uh, how? How am I not getting these fish? He took it all the way under. He like swam home with it. It's okay, we're gonna get him. Got him. Yes! Oh, and it's a smallmouth bass. <laughs> ah! He fell off, he fell off. Oh no, buddy. Oh no. Oh um, man, he just hit the water full speed. But that's okay. You saw it. You saw it. I could have grabbed him. Mm, that was a good bite. What do I have? A stick. I could have grabbed the fish. I was just running my mouth and bragging, and that's what I get for that. But it counts for species, but he is not going to be the biggest fish because I can already tell y'all her sunfish was bigger than that little guy. What is this? Green sunfish. What? She just got another fish. She just got another fish. So, uh, it's three fish for her. One for me on the corn. But y'all, we've only been at this for like five minutes, so maybe ten. We're good. He's pooping. We're gonna let him go. The bugs like the corn. Ah, the yellow jackets like the corn. Please go away. Go away, go away, go away. All right, here we go. Here we go. This right here, I'm telling y'all, we're about to get a fish. It's gonna happen. Don't take your eyes off the screen because you don't want to miss this giant I'm about to catch. Oh, 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 that was a good hit. That was a good hit. That was a good hit. This reel is so slow. I couldn't like get it in time. Yes, yes. Oh, it's so good for this little pole. Maddie, he's like taking my drag. Oh my goodness. Come here, buddy. Come here. Holy, look at this. Good Lord. <laughs> He'll drag, son. That is a pumpkin seed. I think I might have you for big fish. Uh-oh, I'm getting hit. Carp pole just got hit. On the carp? Yeah. No. Well, if she gets that, we're definitely not getting big fish, though. So. I don't know if I have a small fish on or if it's just not on yet. Thanks, baby. Let's let this cutie go. There it goes. You really got hit? It's definitely getting hit. I think we should probably sit right here and wait. She's really getting hit on the freaking big pole. How are they picking that over the real corn? I'm gonna have a word with these fish talk to them about their mindset. It's broken. About to go to Maddie's spot while she's looking at her big pole. All right, while well, this fish still contemplates whether or not it wants to fully commit, we're gonna keep fishing. We're gonna stay close by though. Mm. What? Oh my. Oh yeah. What'd you get? A small mouth. That's a good one. He jumped out of the water. Well, she caught a small mouth. That was my bread and butter. I really, really thought, ain't no way she's gonna catch a small mouth too. And she just did. So it's not looking good for us. It's not looking good for us at all, but that's okay because we still have time on the clock and three more rounds to go. He did a trick more. coming out of the water. There he goes, guys. <laughs> Sorry. It's he, okay. It's he was crazy. I was going to come and get a shot of that for you, but you know what? <sighs> Y'all seen it. I have two species. Now you have three species and more fish and biggest fish. Oh. No. Yes. What's that? I don't know but they fight so good on this little pole. 
That is a bluegill. Or that is, I don't know what that is. I think it's a, it's not a green sunfish. It's a bluegill something. Cause I'm not gonna count that as a different species. I think he might be the same thing, but he is my third fish. So I'm pretty stoked about that. So let's get him right back in. Thanks baby. <laughs> what? Did you just chum the water with my corn? I did. Uh-uh. Absolutely not. You want me to chum the water with plastic? <laughs> yeah. Don't chum the water with plastic corn. That wouldn't be very good for the ecosystem. Oh, oh. Bite it again. I dare you. Ooh. I don't know what this is. Another bass. I saw it. What's this? What is that? Um, it kind of looks like a red breast. Yep, that's a red breast. That's a new species for me. Is that your fourth species? Yeah, on a single piece of corn. All right, we're gonna let this baby go. Time is a ticking, so I'm gonna reel our big pole in and check the corn. An hour, when you're watching this and stuff, and we do like these challenges where we only get an hour or two hours, it seems like forever, but it goes by so quick. Yep, all my corn's gone. Ain't gonna catch nothing on a bare hook. Then again, stranger things have happened. So let's put some more corn on this, and then we'll put some more corn on our other pole and try to catch up to Maddie with all these species she's catching because they just like hunks of plastic for some reason. Make sure it's somewhere where it cannot go anywhere. Perfect. Now let's get back to our other mission. With that sun gone down some more, it feels so much better out here. I'm not taking my eye off this bobber this time. She likes to sneak attack when I'm not looking. Got her. Such a hard hit. God, this fish is fighting. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. God, that's a big girl. That is a beautiful pumpkin seed. That's a nice fish right there. You got big fish. Look at that, it's a, pump, it's a pumpkin seed right in the snout. I'd like to put her in a fish tank. That's just good cheap fun. I don't catch too many pumpkin seeds around here. You gotta get this beautiful, beautiful fish right back in. I love a pumpkin seed, they're so pretty. I don't know what this is. It's a bass. I mean, for panfish rods and a piece of plastic corn, that's a good fish. You definitely took the lead back for big fish, I believe. I do need the pliers, it's on her tongue. Oh my God, this fish is nuts and her little tongue. I'm so sorry. All right, we're gonna get her back in quick. She's bleeding from the tongue. See you, girly. That was a good one. Thank you took big fish back. <sighs> womp, womp, womp. This little thing's got teeth marks all over it. There was a fish right here. I guess you don't want a new. Okay, I got something big. Oh, <laughs> I got a good fighter. How about that? Nothing big. Oh, he's so pretty. It's a pumpkin seed. So that's another fish species for me. You just wipe the floor with me. You win some, you lose some. Look at that beauty. Pumpkin seeds near Halloween. Yo! No way. Yes. Yes. Please stay on. Please stay on. Carp or crabfish? Thank you for the net job. I know we're in a competition. It might be a cat. Seems like it. It's okay. It's a new species. It's a catfish. Yes! And big fish. 
Oh, that made my heart skip a beat. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. This is our next species. It definitely big fish so far. Somebody got bit. Look. Lots of flatheads and musky in this area. Let's get this baby back into the water. Thank you. Well, that release was a failure. My camera decided to stop filming right as Ray was putting the fish back into the water, but regardless, she got big fish. So let's all clap. Round of applause. I'm clapping for me. Round of applause for Ray Ray. <laughs> but I still haven't won yet. She's got the most species and the most fish. So we got 10 minutes remaining. We gotta hurry up because it's getting dark. And that's, that's why we planned it like this. We give ourselves an hour right before it would be completely dark. So. Fall is definitely here. I'm yep. chilly. We have less than three minutes remaining, so we're not going to waste a single second. You're just getting hit, or is it the current? I don't know. I've just been watching this guy over here. He has been fanning something for like the last 30 minutes. Maybe he's why it's so cool out here. He needs to quit it. I'm getting cold. You're making us cold, man. Stop fanning us. I can't believe the amount of fish and species corn has caught. That just goes to show you, you do not have to overcomplicate fishing at all. Very simple. Grab a few kernels of corn and it don't even have to be real. It can be a hunk of plastic and go have fun. As of right now, I'm sitting pretty comfortable even though Ray caught big fish. I got most species caught and most fish caught. Tomorrow, we'll do the worms. All right, guys, that is time. All right, no clutch fish, we tried. The timer just went off. Time to reel in. If there's a fish on the end of that, it does not count. I'm a sore loser. <laughs> I was going to get in every cast I could. Hey, I didn't go down without a fight this round. But we're going to catch you guys tomorrow for round number two. That was fun, even though I lost. But that's okay, because we have two more rounds, and I'm coming for you. So be ready. We are out here with day number two, and I'm going to beat this girl right here. <laughs> she beat me yesterday, but today is a different story. It's time for me to make my comeback. I'm gonna go ahead and take off my corn because today we are doing real worm versus fake worm. We're gonna take this little guy right here. We're gonna start with um, going after some pan fish, thread it on. That'll be good. Oh, something hammered it. I think we're gonna kick butt today because everything likes a real worm. All right, we don't even need a whole worm. We're gonna pull one of these guys just a piece of him off and i'm gonna get i'm gonna put one of these a whole one ball it up and get it out on this big rod too just because I might get something big on it look at that delicious no fish is going to be able to resist this this is going to win this round for us right here something is tearing this up they're not getting the hook though ah why won't it take it it's like going nuts on it Maddie getting bites on her fake worm already. So we're gonna get over here. Oh, and by the way, let's go ahead and put an hour on the clock right now. We forgot to do that yesterday. But that's okay. Yep. First fish on the worm is a green sunfish. First fish, first species. Thanks, buddy. I'm gonna go ahead and get him right back in. Now this does resemble a grub. But a grub is a worm, right? Grub's a worm. Fish number two right here. Oh, this is a bigger one for this pole anyways. And that's our second fish, but it's not our second species. It's the exact same thing, a green sunfish. Fish number two, we are just slaying. We ain't been here one minute. Bye, baby. After the next catch, I'm gonna go ahead and get our big pole casted out so that can be soaking. Do you consider a grub a worm? Yeah, a grub worm. So yeah, I'll, I'll let you have that. Oh, okay, 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 he's a fighter. What we got? We got a bluegill, I think. That's our second species and I think our third fish. Let's get him right back in. Thanks, baby. Appreciate you. There he goes. So I feel Ooh. like No! Out of your hole, too. Girl, you better get <laughs> That's a green sunfish. All right, fast time. 
me. I feel like we still got a good lead. We are still ahead by two and two species. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the big pole out. So all I'm gonna be doing is taking one of these big babies right here and I'm gonna get it on this hook all kinds of ways, like a big ball right there. That's gonna get us a monster. Right there. That's how we're gonna leave her. We're just gonna let her soak. All right, now let's get back to business. Got the worm. Just need the bass. We're going for the big boys. We're gonna hit this way. There's a rock peeking into the water and it looks interesting. Looks like a spot where if I was a fish, I would set up shop. Got whatever this is. Yes, fish number four, a green sunfish. So abundant and cute. Bloop. Put our bait right back in. As soon as I get to an amount where I don't feel like Maddie's gonna catch more than that, I'll move on to different tactics. Okay. <laughs> this little guy's pulling drag on me. What is this? Oh, it's big. Oh my God, I gotta get him, I gotta get him. Think I can get it, maybe? Holy cow. That's a beast. This might be my PB might be. bluegill. Look at That's the so teeth crazy. on him, he's like a freaking piranha. It's a slab right here. I guarantee you he's close to a pound. Can't even just toss him back in the water. He needs a proper release. Sweet. That was cool. That one was good, but I think we can go bigger. He wants this worm, y'all. Look, look at that bobber. Got him. <laughs> I don't know what number this is, but I think you guys are seeing the pattern. We can do this all day. I'm gonna catch just a few, enough to really secure the victory here and make sure Maddie doesn't beat me on number. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fish for other species too. Oh, oh, I had one. It looked good too. We could spend the whole hour doing this and catch like a hundred fish, I swear. As many as you're able to get in before the timer goes off. Okay, okay, little buddy. What we got here? We got a pumpkin seed. Another species added to the list. Thanks, baby. And right back in. All right, going back in with the grub. She's catching too many fish. Oh, I had something. What I'm gonna do this time is leave a good bit of tail. I'm hoping it's gonna attract the attention of a bigger fish, maybe even a bass. Mother, I'm not gonna cuss on YouTube. Oh, you're gonna hit. That's gotta be a little fish trying to steal our worm. Oh, we got it, we got it. Okay. Look at that, a bass. Right in the roof of the mouth too, y'all. That's why I put a longer piece of worm on. If you wanna catch bass, the longer worm help. Freaking large mouth bass. Can you imagine how that felt on that little tiny pole? <laughs> Crazy. Never used one of these before. This is something that we found. It's like a spinner, like a rooster tail, but a worm, two hooks in it. Let's see if they'll bite that. Are you hitting my line? We're gonna hit again on our pole. Very faint hits, but it's definitely hits. You see that, right? We need that fish to take it, because that's gonna be a good fish. I'm standing right near this pole, because it is getting hit. And I wanna be, oh crap. Sorry, buddy, I didn't know you was on. I'm over here flapping my gums. Guys, we are struggling. I give up. Little red ear, guys. That is another species on the list. Real pretty. Let's get him back in. Thanks, baby. I almost caught a bluegill. I thought I finally had a bite. I caught one fish. What the heck? This is ridiculous. Time is running out and I have caught just one single fish. I don't even know how many fish I've caught. 
I just know <laughs> this is over unless Maddie makes a swift, and I'm talking swift comeback. Yeah, this is over. Don't get me up in them bushes now. I knew it was gonna be a green sunfish. The way y'all run for them bushes. Beautiful little fish. And that's, uh, I'm over here with Butterfingers. Just released itself. But anyways, it's another catch. A green sunfish. All right, we now have two fish. Going back in with the bass rod. Not a single fish in the sea wants to bite this worm. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I have accepted my fate. That's the ambulance coming for me. <gasps> it got hit really hard. I think we have a fish on this. Yes, we do. Okay, okay, it's pulling. Please don't come off. What does it feel like? It's going to win me big fish. <laughs> oh, no! 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 It might have been a carp, like a baby. All right, that's okay. That's all right. We're going to keep our heads up and we're going to proceed forward. I saw you grinning like, yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't. That fish did me dirty. It just didn't get hooked good, but there's no like getting it hooked good after it's been hooked. I blame the worm. He didn't dance good enough down there. Time's just a dwindling. Time are about to go off, but you know, let's go ahead and lose the fish. The way it was jerking and stuff, it was definitely either a cat or a carp. Kind of felt like a catfish. I'm gonna guess a catfish is what it was. But who knows? Who will ever know? Not me. Got something little. Oh, a rock bass. Next species, yes. Little rock bass. Thanks, baby. Let's get him right back in. Aren't their eyes so cool looking, y'all? Beautiful red eyes. All right. Give him a gentle little toss. Thanks, buddy. Here he goes. Oh, hammered it. Please be a different species at least. No, green sunfish, number three. Timer is almost up and we really need this big fish on this pole that's messing with my worm. Whoa. might be on. You think he's on or do you think he's pecking it? Is he still doing that? Let's see. He's on? He's on. Does he feel big? Yeah. But he's a fish. Oh goodness. That was a big hit. Big jerk. He's little. <laughs> Why does this happen to me? Third and final day. It all boils down to this. Maddie won round one, I won round two. So here we are with round three. This is it right here. This is gonna determine are real baits better than fake baits? Or at least are we better at using real baits or fake baits? We don't know. But anyways, let's get to it and let's find out who is gonna be the big winner. Let's go. We're gonna give ourselves Two hours this time, we both kind of came up with that. I know we said one hour in the beginning, but we weren't accounting for the fact that I need to catch bait fish and stuff. And uh, for a lot of the species that are gonna eat the type of fish I'm catching, we're gonna need to be here a little bit into the night. So two hours for this round. For our fake fish, we're gonna start off with a little fluke. Got that on a little swim bait hook. And we're gonna twitch this around the river, see if anything thinks it's real and wants to eat it. First, we're gonna get a wind knot. It's cooler to give our bait a nice little temporary home when I do catch them. Dang, I used a lot more worms yesterday than I thought. Something's jumping right here. It's 
nice little creek flowing in. Let's taste it. I was a fish, I'd snack on it. Go rinse my hands off because worms are gross, so nasty. All right, let's go, go ahead and get started and try to catch some bait. There's some water flow right here, a little natural spring coming in. Try to step onto this rock right here, see if I can get something right here. I would like to have fish of all sizes. Got it. Stay on, stay on. All right, first piece of bait right here. This is about the biggest I'm gonna go. I'd like to get some smaller because I have a big hook and a small hook. You guys get the gist. I'm not gonna bore you by making you watch me catch all my bait. I'm gonna go try to catch some smaller ones and then we're gonna get started and get our live bait put out there. I'm gonna go ahead and put some water in this little cooler. Give him a nice little temporary home while he waits so patiently. Thank you, buddy. There we go. And I'm gonna keep him in a shady spot. I am holding him hostage right now and he doesn't deserve to bake in the sun. I'm gonna catch a few more and then I'll catch you guys when we get started um, hooking them up and getting them casted out. While she's catching bait fish, see if we can get on a smallmouth bass real quick. Go ahead and take the lead. Get a head start. Oh, there's a bite. Let me slow it down. All right, let's go over here where this little rock is at. Maybe there's some smallmouth bass posted up right there waiting for a bait to swim past. Nice ambush point. Y'all, I'm gonna go help Maddie, but I just caught- Oh, oh, he spit it! I had my own problem I was dealing with. Look at this. Holy sh- Right? I was like fighting this guy and trying to like, even though we're in a competition, I was gonna come help you. This guy's a beast. Y'all. I've caught some big panfish during this, uh, this event, but oh my God. I can't believe I didn't land that fish. I'm so sorry, dude. Like, I know we're in a competition, but that always sucks. Yo, though, look at this. That is freaking safe. He is way too big to use his bait, but I had to show y'all guys this. I, I, I wish I had something to compare him to. I guarantee you that's a pound. Yeah, I think everybody on the riverbank heard me lose that fish. I was just so excited. Like, man, that was a good fish, I'm telling you. We're gonna get this baby right back in because um, I'm not, I'm sure there's something in here that would eat this but I don't think I'm ready to catch that something. This is a big fish. Thank you, baby. There he goes. What a beast of a panfish. That is why they call him a panfish right there because that sucker would feel a pan. That guy was like a solid one and a half pounds. He popped right here and spit the hook. I just knew it was gonna happen too. I'm feeling very comfortable with the amount of bait I have. I could use a few more smaller ones, but I'll focus on that in a little bit. Right now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get um, some lines casted out. Got this big circle hook on. I think it's an eight dot for the bigger fish. And then I got a tiny little hook on the other pole for the small fish. Let's grab us a fish. Oh, they're gonna freak out, I knew it. All right, roll the sleeve up and do the thing. Come here, buddy. Come here, Bubba, calm down. All right, we're gonna get this guy hooked right here above the spine. So we don't wanna hit his spine. Perfect. We're gonna get this casted out. We're gonna tie on a crankbait. Let's go with one we don't care to lose in this river. Boom. Wow, that happened so quickly. Girl. Right at the bank. That was crazy. There we go. This one for you. Yay. Let's go. 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 Let
That's a fat little bass. Thanks, buddy. Mwah. Such a cool eat, too. I mean, he hit it right at the bank. Came full speed running after it. This little guy was not playing. That was awesome. Such a cool eat. Did you see it? I did. I heard it from all You look shocked. <laughs> I was. Good job. Thanks. Have to cheer you on for that one. That's a good catch. For some reason, I'm struggling to catch little fish, which is why I didn't buy minnows because I thought I'm gonna come out here and catch decent sized fish and little fish both, but you know, whatever. Lesson learned, next time we're buying minnows. But I'm gonna get this guy casted out here. He's a bigger fish. We'll try to catch some more smaller fish too so we can increase our chances of getting different varieties of fish. Cause nothing's been biting these big fish yet. Boom, right there is back and get her set up. All right, both of my live baits are out there. Hopefully we get a fish. We need multiple species at this point though. We'll see what happens. Now that that sun's starting to set and some clouds are rolled in, it is cold. We're gonna try the jerk bait. It's so cold I had to go get a jacket. I mean, that looks so real coming through the water. It looks like a dime in it. That is just so hard to believe that nothing is biting. Let's try close to the banks. There we go. Finally, gotta take her. It's not a bad one either. Right in the side of the lip. What a beauty. Fat girl. Such a perfect fish. There we go. We got a large mouth and we got a small mouth. Let's go ahead and get this beauty back in. It's not looking good for me, is it? Everything in this water should eat live fish, but nothing in this water is eating live fish. She's got a hit on one of my poles, whatever it is. It must be a fish too little to take that bait. Exactly why I wanted to catch smaller bait. I should have just bought minnows. Should have done it, but I didn't. I so wish I could count all the bass I've caught on this little trout magnet right here. It's been so many. Unfortunately, it doesn't count for me. My fish have to come on live fish. Oh, something's trying to take it. Dang, that was pretty cool. I don't know what it was either. I think it was a bass. There we go. Yes. A little uh, green sunfish. We are definitely getting a hit. It doesn't look like a big fish. So hopefully it's not something that's gonna steal my fish. Usually a big fish hits it and that's it. They, they just take it. Come on, please take it. I could really, really use a fish. I would love to just like not be completely embarrassed by catching nothing. Nothing that counts anyways. At 6.45, that means we got 15 minutes. Maddie kicked my butt. Yeah, that's it. <gasps> nope. You saw that, right? She took my fish. She pulled so hard. Dang it. He's got it right now. He's taking it. So far, I'm gonna let it be. Let him be. Look at that. It's something on. Please don't pop off. Let me know if I need to reel in your other line. I'm gonna be your net man. A flatty. A tiny baby flathead, y'all. Thank God. Yo, we got a fish, yes! We did not leave empty handed. It's such a tiny baby flathead, but I'm just stoked to have gotten a fish. Look at that mouth. These guys get way bigger than this. This is a teeny tiny little baby, but I'm just super stoked to have caught this guy. 
I did not win this competition, but because of this little doll baby, I did not leave empty-handed. Let's get him right back in. And this might be a baby flathead, but this is biggest fish, I would say. I would say so. It's a big fish, just not for a catfish. not win I lost but I didn't leave empty-handed and honestly that ended up being my goal like halfway through I kind of went ahead and accepted my fate I'm not winning this but I'm not leaving with nothing so thanks to that little guy we didn't leave with nothing Scored on three different calories. <laughs> calories? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll do it. I got it, I got it. Whoever has to. <laughs> oh my god! I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, that's a lantern fly. <laughs> Get it off me! Get it off me! <laughs> What the hell is wrong with these balls? Tell me when you're ready. <laughs> <laughs>